we are excited to announce that the new AutoCAD 2024 is coming out this month and today we want to hear from you what do you have to say about any new feature that you would like to see on this new AutoCAD version I have a couple of new ideas new features but this show is for you so let's start and wouldn't it be great if we could convert raster images to DWG file inside the AutoCAD program? Yes, I believe so too. Similarly to the new update for the AutoCAD 2017, where it can now convert a PDF inside AutoCAD to a DWG file or line work. So for instance, I have a raster image here and you can see that I will have to kind of manually redraw everything over here, but there is already some tools that AutoCAD is providing us like the raster tools over here on my ribbon. And there are some cool features like for instance, removing lines. If we select the line, we can start and throw in on top of this image and we will able to remove the light. Thank you AutoCAD for that. We have also the rectangular region where we could go and start hiding some of these line works like so. And that way we could hide some of these elements on any raster image. That way we can maybe draw some objects behind our, our raster image. So now you can see we cannot see through the image because we have to select the raster image and say background transparency and that way we can see any item that it's drawn but again you cannot convert a raster image to a dwg so please autocad i know you have the power to do that because there are other programs that can do that. So that's the first feature that I would love to see in AutoCAD 2024. The second feature or new idea comes from our friend Jeff and Jeff says, I would like to have a feature that zooms to extends all, all of the tabs I'm working in a drone great idea from Jeff here especially because most of the time there are some requirements or policies that many firms or offices have regarding how you close professionally your drawings for instance they require you to go to each tab and do a zoom extent before you can go ahead and close your drawing so by implementing a new command or tool to quickly zoom extends on all of your tabs would be very beneficial for our workflow. And not only that, if you, for instance, close your drawing by not doing a zoom extend like this, what's going to happen is that when you go to your file, you will see a, you will see a preview like this, which again is not very professional you don't see what kind of drawing this is but again if you have somehow a command that quickly can zoom extends on all of your tabs that way when we save and close our drawing we will have a preview more professional like this and that way we don't have to open a file to actually see what this type is about so that was a great idea from Jeff hopefully we can see this implementation if not in AutoCAD 2024 maybe on the next version third idea or recommendation a fix that I would like to see on the new AutoCAD 2024 is the ability to help us when hatching areas for instance if we want to hatch this area over here with the hatch command we can see that we have a close boundary could not be determined and this is a problem that many AutoCAD users have especially the beginners I've been using AutoCAD for 10 years but I still have to 
figure this out daily so this is an improvement that AutoCAD can do regarding hatching and basically there are many tricks to kind of figure it out why we cannot hatch areas I have explained many of these tricks on the channel but AutoCAD only give us the same error message but there are dozens of reasons why we cannot hatch so wouldn't be beneficial or helpful if AutoCAD give us at least two or three different errors specifying what is the problem of our items for instance i have to figure this out where is the problem i know there are no openings because all of my geometries are closed so one of the reasons why this also happens is because some of the line works are not drawn on the same plane so we rotate this in 3d one of the lines might be drawn a little up on the z direction so in order to avoid this what we can do is select our geometry and use the flatten command flatten and that way we can say no and let's try to hatch again now and let's see and boom you can see that now i'm able to hatch there is no way that a beginner could figure this out so that's why it wouldn't be awesome if AutoCAD instead of giving us the same type of error could maybe second error saying hey your line or your line work are not on the same planar values or something like that that can let us know oh okay so maybe some of my light ones are not on the same D direction so I can use I can flatten them or I can do whatever it needs so the fourth idea comes from Luna's idea is for AutoCAD 2024 to come with some preset text and some architectural dimension styles similar to AutoCAD architectural so for people who don't know there is the regular AutoCAD version that we're using now over here and there is also AutoCAD architecture where there are more features specifically for that field architecture where there are 3D walls, 3D doors and so on so if we open the dimension style with the dimst command we can see that we only have one type of dimension style that AutoCAD is providing us <laughs> but as Douglas was saying the other AutoCAD architecture program comes with many different presets that we can use for architect for instance we might need one for a side plan we might need in feet we might need a, a regular dimension style for a floor plan which is in feet in inches so AutoCAD please give us more dimension styles presets that we can quickly use to generate any of our projects so great recommendation by, by our friend Douglas there and the idea number five comes from our friend Rachel that says my wish list for Autodesk is for them to create an uninstalled program of their products that doesn't involve the user having to spend another hour and installing the fragments of AutoCAD. Great idea, Rachel, for AutoCAD 2024. I personally struggled with that. For instance, we want to install, let's say, the new AutoCAD 2024, right? but also want to uninstall the older version, which is 2023. And sometimes if you don't uninstall it correctly, it will give you problems or errors for the new version of AutoCAD. So great idea from Rachel there. Would you want to see that feature in AutoCAD 2024? Let me know in the chat. Hopefully one of these ideas will be implemented so the new features for AutoCAD 2024 